Hello everyone, this is Bridget Quigg coming at you with another intuition story. This one specifically about the power of the inner eye. I had an interesting experience a couple weekends ago. My mom and I went to a family reunion outside of Seattle in an area called Hood Canal. So for those of you who don't know Washington State geography, in order to get there, we had to cross a major body of water to get there and get back called Puget Sound or the Salish Sea as we're learning to call it more around here. And there's a, a bridge, maybe you're two, I'm not thinking, but mostly you take a ferry boat to get across this body of water. And that is my mom's favorite way to do it. Well, in order to get there on time, I said, mom, we're gonna drive there and then we'll try and take a ferry back. So I'm negotiating with my mom, trying to kind of get us there on time, which works out. So we take a bridge to get there the first time do the cool thing we did, which was take a boat on Hook Canal over to a place with some family members, a lot of family members, have a dinner and then come back on the boat. Well, I had looked at the ferry schedule, which is common for us folks who live near this big body of water, to try and plan the rest of the evening. And it wasn't looking so good for us to get on a ferry because the nearest ferry, about 20 to 30 minutes away, was gonna leave either at 9 p.m. to go back to Seattle or 11.30 at night. Well, the boat was approaching the dock where we were just before 9 p.m. And basically we weren't gonna make that ferry back to Seattle. And then the next one's at 11.30 at night. So I'm thinking, holy moly, are we gonna sit at that ferry dock for two hours, get back to Seattle at 12.30, take my mom home to get myself home, get to bed at like 1.30, it's like, no. So I look up another option, which is a bit of a drive away, but it could work a little better. It's called Bainbridge. And um, figure out that if we basically left right at that moment, had a perfect driving conditions as predicted by my map app, we could just kind of sort of make it on to this ferry. It would be a 1030 ferry, get us back to Seattle 11, because it's a shorter ride. So I'm telling you all this detail just to say, I was kind of doing the math and in my head very quickly, because we came in off the dock. I didn't know when we would get back and I was like, okay, I gotta make this choice, I gotta make it fast. And so, Getting to the other ferry 15 minutes before it left was our destiny if everything worked out perfectly. On a Saturday night at 10.30, you're thinking maybe that'll work out. Maybe there'll be nobody there. It's kind of late. Maybe everybody's already home. So the logic of it wasn't super high, but what I did is I closed my eyes. So here's the intuition part and checked my screen, which is what I do. So I look to my inner eye with my eyes closed and I see what pops up and kind of what holds. And sometimes I'll test out different things because my body also responds. So what I saw was Bainbridge. So that's that 1030 option, a little bit of a drive away. And I tried to test out bridge or like the other way and it just felt very dark and heavy and it didn't pop on my screen. So Bainbridge it was, I was like, all right, mom, we're going for it. I'm gonna run and get the car. You stay by the lobby and I'll pick you up and we're gonna go for it. We're gonna make this 1030 boat apparently because I see it on my screen. So off we go. I do some somewhat radical driving to get us there. We do get there about 15 minutes where the boat's supposed to leave. And I, and I pop out my phone and I look at, I'm in line now, at the lineup. So Washington State Department of Transportation will tell you how many tickets they've sold to get on the boat. So we get there and it's like there's 44 tickets left. I'm kind of looking down the line going, boy, I hope, I hope we get on. This is looking a little sketchy. Um, I really put my faith into what my intuition told me carry forth a little further. Now we're 19 tickets left. I'm looking ahead going, yeah, I don't know if there's 19 spots left and I'm counting about 22 at least in front of us. So I think other people are getting the same information. One car pulls out of line. A few minutes later, another car pulls out of line because otherwise you're going in and you're waiting for the midnight ferry potentially if you miss this one. So some people are choosing just to not get on the ferry at all or come back. So we stay in because I'm like, I got to go for this right now because we I would like to get my mother home, it's late. We get up to the front after two people popped out of line and there's this little plastic sign that will tell you which time the ferry is that you're getting on as you're paying. It's a very manual thing they put out and it says 10.30. And at this point I was pretty sure, because it was down to zero by the way on the app at this point, like we were not according to the digital world going to get on, 10.30. And I hear the woman across the way, because my window's down, who's working the cars say, we have room for one more, very loudly and clearly. And I kind of look at my mom and I'm like, oh my God. So I turn to the guy, I go, are we getting on the 1030? He says, you are. I said, you are my favorite person right now. And he says, that's not what the person behind you is gonna say, because we get let in, no one else gets let in. We are literally the last car, but the story is not over. So we're kind of sitting there going, we're not on yet. That's always, you gotta keep that perspective. And so we're in the lot with everybody else waiting, the boat comes in, they empty it, now we're getting on. 
Last four to five cars finally have our chance to go out of our lane. They pause all of us. You're like, oh man, I hope we get on. All the cars go on, they pause us. Meanwhile, there's a van that's battery died, which is sad, but it's like yet more space for us. So two cars left the line. This van didn't make it. We wait an extra two minutes. We're the last car in the lot. The guy's on his little walkie talkie describing my car, communicating with people down there. And finally, the last moment after all of our stress, he goes, you guys can drive on. And we do, we get on the boat. We're the last ones there. As a joke in, in Washington state, you got the rope around your bumper, but you're the last one on. And mom and I wrapped ourselves up in blankets from my car, went upstairs. It's very sweet, that makes me wanna cry. And we watched the water go by in the dark and the beauty of downtown Seattle as we came in was just so fun for her. And she got her boat ride and I was so tested <laughs> by the experience of how do I believe what I got on my screen? Cause it seems like it's not going really great. And yet in the end, as has happened to me so many times in my life when I really go all in, which I tend to, on what I get intuitively, it totally worked out. Um, and was quite miraculous and fun. So that's my Bainbridge Ferry, true believer, faith in my inner eye and kind of my body reaction story, despite all the ma machinations and things that happened on the way. All right, there's an intuition story for you. Um, all the best. Bye.